Good morning, Deepak. Thank you for coming uh, here with us at Ijebo today. Uh, we're really happy to have you and have this opportunity to talk to you and get to know your experience here in Japan. And uh, so first, we would like to begin with, I, I would like to ask you to give us a little bit of your introduction and a bit of your background, please. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, Roko. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. So yeah, my name is Deepak and uh, I come from India and I did my bachelor's uh, in computer engineering mm -hmm. and uh, I came to Japan, I think in uh, 2020, December. Mm -hmm. And uh, currently I'm working uh, with fast retailing uh, as a senior software engineer. And uh, yeah, the life in Japan is so, it's good so far. And uh, apart from that, I have hobbies, mainly music. So yeah, that's a very short and brief introduction about me. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. Uh, then can I ask like, what was your first encounter with Japan? Because I know some people like uh, figures out about Japan through anime or through our culture, through food. Uh, what was your first encounter? Okay, yeah, so I, actually I don't watch anime, uh -huh. you know, but I am a fan of old animes like Doraemon and Shin-chan. So, oh, okay. yeah, we watch uh, a lot of those, uh, you know, when we are in childhood. In India, it's very popular, you know, oh. not only uh, the new anime, but the old one as well. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I had an image that Japan is very technologically advanced, you know, a very clean country. And yeah, my first encounter was uh, exactly the same. It's very clean. It's, I, I'll say too clean for me. <laughs> Right. So it's very clean. People are good, you know, environment. You don't, you, there's no pollution at all. You know, even Tokyo is, you know, the largest metropolitan, but still it's very clean. So I think that was the first thing which I realized uh, when I came to Japan. Okay. Yes. And uh, how did you land this job at Fast Retailing, actually? Okay. So this is my, uh, you know, my first job right after graduating. So Fast Retailing came to our campus uh, for the on campus placements. Mm -hmm. And they did the interviews, all rounds of, you know, tech interviews, CTO interviews, everything. Mm -hmm. Then they provided some trainings regarding Japanese language and all. I'll come to that later in detail if you have any questions pertaining to that. So, yeah, after that, uh, you are, you know, invited to work in Japan. Mm -hmm. So I think that's uh, how I entered fast retailing right after graduating. Oh, okay. Did you, at the time when they were hosting these, like, uh, things on the camp on campus did you have an image that you wanted to work abroad or specifically like in Japan actually I would say not specifically in Japan but yes I had uh, you know a viewpoint that yeah I wanted to work in abroad so I had I already had an on-campus offer before apply before fast retailing came okay. so that was a U.S. based company so for Japan uh, yeah I think uh, the only point which I considered coming to Japan is that the currently uh, the company I'm working for is uh, an apparel company, right? It's not a tech company, right? Yeah. So they have the IT department. So mm -hmm. it's a small IT department. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, they are very talented people. Mm -hmm. And the only point which I saw is that, uh, first of all, I wanted to work in uh, Japan, you know, after checking out the company's image and all. Yeah. Second most important thing was that, you know, if it's a small IT department, you have a lot of uh, opportunity to learn and grow. You know, you have many tasks to work on, not only on a specific task like a tech company. You yeah. sign a one task and you do that, right? That's not the case with fast retailing and my current role, which I'll explain you later if you have yeah. questions about that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then, yeah, can I ask if you speak <laughs> Japanese or how, what kind of training you had at the time? Okay, so yeah, I can speak Japanese. Uh, so... I think uh, I studied Japanese around one and a half year, seriously, wow. if I okay. say. So I gave JLPT. I'm N3 right now. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the whole Japanese language and culture, uh, you know, it was provided by our company. So they arranged, you know, two months of training in India. Very okay. rigorous training, eight hours a day. On, wow. I think from Monday to Saturday, eight hours just listening Japanese and uh, making mistakes in the particles because ni wa and we were just messed yeah. up in the start right <laughs> so yeah i learned japanese two months in india then after coming to japan i had classes from waseda university same provided by my company or all, all cost uh you know it was yeah. paid by my company so they you know focused on the japanese language not only the japanese language but also the japanese culture you know, all stuffs like baby boom, right? Starting from baby, <laughs> boom, you know, history, omotenashi, everything. Yeah. Do you think those lessons helped you, mm -hmm. or was it like 
made you your process of moving to Japan and like getting into here easier? Yes, of course. Of mm -hmm. course, I would say Japanese is very important if you want to stay in Japan. Yeah. If you are on a tourism perspective, that's a complete different story. You can, you know, use Google Translate, you know. Yeah. But if you are living in Japan, I would advise all of you, whoever is, uh, you know, watching this, please mm -hmm. learn Japanese. It's very important, not only from the work perspective, although I don't use Japanese that, or, that much, you know, in my work, mm -hmm. uh, because it's a software related work. Yeah. But yeah. If you want to make friends, if you don't want to be lonely in Japan, because Japan is a lonely country in the sense, if you are an extrovert, you want yeah. to make friends and you don't speak Japanese, then it would be very hard time for you. Uh, yeah, Japanese okay. is important. That I realized, you know, in the start only. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I can imagine. Then how was your process of moving to Japan? Was it a difficult process to get the visa and everything? Mm -hmm. Like where you like live was a... Mm -hmm something that your company helped as well yeah it all goes the credit goes to our company only since it's <laughs> uh, you know they have their own processes so it was difficult because it was a period of corona and uh, you know all the flights were uh, cancelled you know so i think we uh, our whole schedule delayed i think 6 months you know so we were planned in june but we came in december because of corona yeah. so visa and all it was all everything was managed by my company mm -hmm. and uh, i think uh, I think, yeah, in December, they somehow got, you know, they just got a small window yeah. to just bring us in Japan. Yeah, yeah, that's how we ended in Japan. I see. Okay. Then can I know, uh, like moving on to about your job and work style, can I know what you uh, what you like about being a senior software engineer at Fast Retailing? Okay. So there are many things that I like, but... Particularly, I like uh, the learning curve and the opportunity I'm given. So my work currently, it's a twofold uh, job currently. Mm -hmm. uh, so first uh, uh, involves, you know, the development of the features and epics, you know, which I get from the business side. Mm -hmm. I have to design the epics right from, you know, requirement analysis to mm -hmm. the delivery testing, everything I have to uh, see that, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the other part involves uh, managing a team of five people. So I'm managing a team. Uh, okay. so I have to, you know, review those PRs, you know, check the status of the works, right. And mm -hmm. define the process, not, I don't like micromanagement. So I define the process instead, right. Yeah. So that you can work efficiently on their own. That's my, you know, brief summary of mm -hmm. my job. I see. Then, uh, is your, like in, within the tech department of fast retailing is mm -hmm. the, how is the working environment? Like. Is it composed of many international engineers or like more mostly Japanese and some internationals or yeah, what's the like the proportions? Yeah, that's a beauty of fast retailing. It's a very diverse environment, right? Okay. It's it's opposite of a, you know, a traditional Japanese company, which I had an image of in India. Right, <laughs> like you have to go after your boss, come before your boss, all sorts of stuff. I had that image, but <laughs> Fast retailing is completely opposite. We have people from all over the world, literally. US, America, Korea, India, Japan. It's a mix. It's a mix of people. Okay. That's, so then it's a bit easier to work with. Or was it? Yeah, I guess I guess it's much easier to work with than in the, like a traditional, like uh, this kind of high, like very hierarchical system, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's, yeah. A bit difficult, I think. Yeah then was there something that you necessarily had to like adapt to to working in fast retailing because like i feel like uh, when i think about working in japan i need to adapt to the way japanese people work because we do have a very different work ethic than many countries do so was there something that you had to change or you had to adapt to i would say in particularly nothing oh. you know it's not like they have a process you have to go there and you don't have any opinion on your own. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we are very free to give our opinions. Yeah. Even to our managers, directors, I had meetings. I had have meetings with my managers, directors, CTOs also, right? Sometimes. So it's a very diverse culture and you can give your opinions. There's no hard and fast rule. If you have an idea, the CTO is, you know, more or less open to hearing that. If yeah. you have uh, if you have any idea, you know, you just straight away go to uh, the CTO and uh, you know consult with your managers, everyone. So it's a very open culture in fast retailing that yeah. I can say. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. To hear. I see. 
Then um, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, moving on to a little bit of your like outside of work. Um, between your colleagues, do you spend time outside of work? Do you go for drinks or dinner or something like that? Yeah, we recently had the Bonin guy. Oh, nice. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we hang out with my colleagues. I usually go drinking or some, you know, sports or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I see. And uh, what personally, what do you like to do in your free time? I like to explore Japan. Oh, like to so travel. Like, yes, travel. I, I travel a lot with my Japanese friends. So mm -hmm. I live actually in a share house. Mm -hmm. If you are aware of such concept in Japan, share house. So there are yeah. many. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. So people living from different uh, countries. So I made many friends in my share house. Uh, I speak Japanese with them. Mm -hmm. So uh, the I not only learn the Tainé Japanese, but I also learn the slang Japanese, like <laughs> Kansai. So my favorite is Kansai when uh, in personally, mm -hmm. because it's kind of easy to you know uh, you know joke around in that. Yeah, uh, for sure. In that Kansai band, right? Yes. So, yeah, from apart from work, yeah, I travel. I make my own music. So I my hobby is music, like I said. Mm -hmm. And I like to read books. Started okay. reading books. I was not very good, but I recently started reading books because I'm as I'm growing in my career. I think reading books is very important for me. And yeah, apart from that, I love watching kid dramas. That's all I can say. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Kid oh. uh, then where was your favorite place that you visited within Japan? Ah, difficult question. Okay. So I think interesting place was Osaka. Beautiful, I would say, Niigata. Interesting Osaka because I think it's opposite of Tokyo. Yeah, for sure. Right? I so, uh, if you can understand what I, what I mean, yeah. in terms of friendliness, in yeah. terms of approachability, you yeah. know, people in Tokyo are just, you know, looking downstairs and they're yeah. not really open to, you know, speaking. But Osaka is complete opposite, yeah. right? In terms of, you know, and, uh, everything. Yeah, I would say it's completely opposite. I can explain that part. Yeah. Niigata was very good because of uh, I tried skiing there. Oh right? yeah, yeah. That so you went the, there in winter. Yes, last winter. Yes. Well, where, where I have never been to Ni, uh, Niigata, so I'm I'm curious where you went. Uh, I think it was Yuzawa. Yeah, I ah, yeah I th I've heard of it. Oh wow. Yes, there is a very good ski park in I think a mount. I forgot the mountain range, oh. but it's a very huge ski area. Oh, okay, I see. Yes. Nice. I see. And uh, okay. Uh, then can I know like what aspects of the Japanese culture you like or you don't like? Okay. So uh, Japanese culture. I think I like uh, their ability to give 100% of, uh, you know, on their work. You know, mm -hmm. whatever they do, they give their hundred percent, no matter what the work is. That mm -hmm. thing I realized, you know, when I came to Japan, first mm -hmm. and foremost, right. Next, I like the onsen culture. If oh. I, in particular, I would say I like the onsen culture. Was it's it really not? Was it not like shocking at first to because I don't think public yeah. baths are mm -hmm. very common around the world. So I feel like a lot of foreigners would have like what is like you know a bit of a shock <laughs> to the culture here. But yeah. yeah. I it's an interesting story I cannot share here but I think for your question yes for I think one second it was a shock for me uh -huh. after one second it was very very you know it's like I am doing it daily right oh yeah 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 <laughs> that the answer culture is really really good third yeah. uh, I think uh, I like the convenience in Japan for example be it in terms of convenience stores mm. of the transportation Right. Mm. I like that part in Japan specifically yeah. and how people follow the rules, right? There's, there are rules in Japan. Yeah, so many. Uh, and people yeah. follow those rules, right? Yeah, I agree. And I think last part would be the, there is, uh, you know, the government or any, you know, there is specific emphasis on the human life. For example, if you, uh, I don't know if you know, recently Japan was uh, considered as the top country for handicapped people, right? Because they have the all sorts of uh, supportive, uh, yeah. Roles, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think that part is very, very particular about Japan. Oh. Give emphasis on human comfortness for oh. everyone, 
Oh, I see. I've never thought about Japan like that. So that's yeah, it was either just it's coming from India or it's coming from any other country. I think you can just uh, see that very clearly. Oh, okay. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, rest of all, like I said, it's clean and all. That's very good. Yeah. Not good points. Uh, not good points. I think not good point is one of one of which is the Honne and Tatemai culture. Uh, that is difficult to you know comprehend, yes. especially Tatemai, right? Although I am now expert in comprehending that, but yeah, I think for a foreigner, it's very difficult uh, yeah. in the start. And uh, what else? A uh, lot of paperwork in offices. Um, Japan is very paperwork country. Yeah. Uh, that I, sometimes, yeah, it's a bit, uh, I don't <laughs> want to do that. So much paperwork. Yeah. Side. That's the second point, I think. And particularly... Ah, uh, I think right now I can assume these two points only, two couple of points. Yeah, I think. Okay, great. I see. Yeah, I do hear that from a lot of other people, mm. like also my friends uh, that are uh, from outside of Japan. That like Japan has so much paperwork, and I personally do feel like there's so much paperwork. <laughs> so yeah, it must be a lot for people from outside. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yes. Uh, then maybe uh, my last question for you. Do you have any tips or advice for people who wish to work in Japan? Okay, so okay, so since I work in a very diverse company, I can only, my opinion is especially biased uh, on that part. So I think, first of all, you should be good at Japanese. That's a must, right? Mm -hmm. If you're trying to work in Japan, you have to learn Japanese. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, you should be very curious, right? Sometimes it happens that you don't have work. So at that point of time, if you are, you know, just sitting, right, and not exploring or curious about taking some new task or something like that, right, then it would be difficult for you to grow, right? Mm -hmm. You should have self-motivation to grow, to yes. learn, yes. to gain skills, right? That's the most important thing, not only Japanese company, every company, mm -hmm. but for Japanese specifically, I think I, that would suffice. And also try to build uh, connections. Don't yeah. be afraid. Don't be afraid to make efforts. Mm -hmm. And in Japan, it will take time effort. In starting, it will take a lot of efforts to talk to people, right? You will be ignored by people sometimes. That happens, right? It's completely natural because you're a foreigner. But make those efforts. Try learning their language. Understand their culture, right? Mm -hmm. So that you can gel around with the people. Mm -hmm. And that would not only help in your personal life, but also in your professional life. Because mm -hmm. I can speak that. Uh, you know from my personal experience because mm -hmm. I uh, used to joke in English in the starting mm -hmm. but now I joke in Japanese in my workplace right with my senpais yeah uh, really okay with that oh, so okay. that's I think uh, what I would suggest you to do okay well that's a great advice I think yeah yeah. Then uh, actually, one more question: okay. Do you have any like future prospects for your career here in Japan or your career in general? Uh, in general, I think uh, short-term goals would be you know I want to enhance my skills, technical skills, managerial skills to you know uh, do some roles like engineering manager probably in short term. In long term, I definitely see myself you know. You know, in the executive board of uh, directors, especially yes. like a CTO position, right? I target for that such kind of positions. I, uh, you know, that's my very long term goal. Mm -hmm. So I, see. I think, yeah, that's all. Thank you very much. Well, uh, thank you for joining here at Egypt today. Uh, I'm happy to get to know you better, and I'm sure that it will be very helpful for other people too, who's uh, well, well, yeah, who's wanting to work in Japan. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. It was, it was very nice talking to you. Thank you so much.